In tonight's Northwest Grown, eight years ago, Lucinda Whitaker started making a plant based burger mix. And then in the past three years, she's noticed popularity for her products really grow. It was funny, I was listening to NPR and they uh, were saying how all we had to do was cut back on a third of our meat and it would help save the uh, planet, you know? And I thought, I have the perfect thing for that, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so anyway, I started like, I, you know, came here and started uh, applying for the markets and, you know, we do this one, King and PSU and we're killing it. I mean, it's awesome because everybody's looking for this, you know, something shelf stable, real food ingredients. I don't use anything but those vegetables and stuff and all you have to do is add the hot water. So it's really easy. So your product is very versatile. So it's even though we think burgers are so many other things, you guys are putting them in tortillas today. Yes. Can you tell me just about how it's been great hearing from people, the different ways they've used your product? Yeah, um, enchiladas with the chipotle is one that I thought was really great and I hadn't thought of before and the um, garlic one I make Mediterranean tacos with it so I use a little like I use the uh, follow your heart feta cheese right and then that's vegan right and so I'd use that Kalamata olives and sprouts from the market and then I just fold it up into a flour tortilla and it's really good the garden is like carrots onion celery rosemary and sage and, mm -hmm. and everything's already in there spices and the vegetables okay. and then the Cajun's not as spicy as the chipotle okay. um, the curry is awesome it's really great it's not spicy it's like a yellow curry it's really good and then the garlic is uh, has a ton of garlic and everybody loves garlic right so that's an easy one and the chipotle is my best seller and that one's smoky spicy yummy okay I want to give garlic a try so I put um, vegan smoked gouda on it right and then I folded it up in a tortilla after I browned it right and then I just flip it over toast it and then quesadilla time it was so good yeah. and taste the garlic and everything yeah. I don't usually try to talk with my mouth full, but of course I did. Oh. All right, so we've got Jeff and Adam here. As I want you guys to know, Lucinda gave me some samples. Really easy to make, you just add hot water. And what I did was make these Vietnamese French pastry Ooh. called pate chaud. My version usually has ground pork, so this time I used her garlic flavor, plant-based burger mix for these, and then the chipotle one. So you guys want to try, and we, heated them up in the... Now, uh, which mix is this? Here? This one's Chipotle. That's so chipotle. you can kind of okay. see that's the patty right there. You want to try that? You yes. want to try that one? I sure do. We um, had um, one of our colleagues and in our... And then with a mouthful, do your sports Do room. your sports, too. <laughs> and then you like garlic, right, Jeff? So there's well, okay, the garlic. I'll try that. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Wow. So it's an alternative. You can see why it's for a burger patty, but mm -hmm. you can use it for other things like it's this. It's really good. Wow. That is good. So that's Please. Lucinda's plant-based mix out at the farmer's markets. Yeah. And I like your twist on it to yeah. do your own homemade recipe using what she makes. Yeah. So I just use this pastry and then I just use the mix um, to put it in there. That's mm. great. That's tonight's Northwest Ground, you guys. Well, let's give some.